Hello, hello everybody and welcome to the WDC tournament. We've made it to top eight as Astral and we're going to start our story by taking on the amazing Gache. So let's do it. Let's do the tournament. So Gache, for those of you that don't know, is a member of my AI tournaments and he won the first ever Zexal tournament with his amazing heroic challenger deck. It's actually pretty scary, but I am I'm using Astral right now and I think I can win. What's this? I've got a duel some kid. That's gonna cramp my strategy. Let's not beat this. Let's not beat around the bush. He should go ahead and withdraw from the tournament now. Wow, this guy sounds scary. He does look like a fearsome opponent. I suppose these are the finals, so we should expect a tough battle from our very first match. D don't look so worried, Astro. We could take that guy. Let's show him what happens when I feel the flow. What are you mumbling under your breath there? I'll put an end to your lucky winning streak. Well, are you ready for this, Yuma? Yeah, we're ready. Let's take out this guy. So his name is Nistro in the English version. Gache in the Japanese version. Interesting. Can I please go first, video game? Why am I going second all the damn time? Please. Let me go first. <laughs> I just, I don't want to go second. The only reason I'll be okay with going second is if my hand has a ton of monsters. If it doesn't, then I'm upset. Alright. Well, I have three monsters, so that's, 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 that'll have to do. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself like, eh, fuck it. I would have preferred to start with this hand, but because I have two good traps, but screw it, the game doesn't want me to start, so we'll just go with this. I draw. Okay, my turtle's a great start, actually. Ooh. You know what? Let's go ahead and start with Go 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 Golem. In attack mode, no fear. And then we're gonna attack with Go 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 Golem, assuming that most of his rogue challengers have bad defense stats. And that thing has 300, so let's see. It is Heroic Challenger Night Watchman. I don't know who that is, but I hope he does protect the walls because winter is coming and we need to be safe. The Night Watch is the only thing that can stop the Night Walkers. All right, let's go ahead and end our turn. So what are you going to do, good old Nistro? I'll try to say Nistro because I know Gache is your Japanese name and people in the comments might be like, hey, I don't understand what you're saying. It's like, shut up, go watch the tournaments. Alright, so he summons this card. I bet you it summons another one. Oh, heroic chance. Ter okay. Let me guess. You have a million attack now. Wow, wow. You have double your attack stat. What the fuck? Who said that was okay? Who said you could have double your attack? Get him out of here. I'm mere forcing you. Get him out of my sight. Does he look... Does it look like I'm playing? I do not wish to duel a person like you. Just die. Oh, what now? Heroic retribution sword. Uh, what does this do? Did he just waste his trap card? <laughs> I think he just wasted his trap card. What does that even do? No matter what, it would have destroyed me, but you didn't get to battle me because you hit a mirror. If anything, you fought yourself and you lost. So easily, we're going to go ahead and summon our pyramid turtle. And we're going to try and do a little bit of synchro stuff. Or, sorry, not synchro, exceed stuff. And we are going to go for... Honestly, the best card is King of the Feral Imps. The fact that I can just get more cards is very important. So we're going to go ahead and go for King of the Feral Imps. We're going to summon it right now. Uh, this time around, we're actually going to use its effect for a weirdly different reason. Uh, we'll throw away Pyramid Turtle. Uh, that Go-Go-Go -Go guy I could throw away next turn. I don't really need to. And I'm going to get myself this guy. Yeah, because I already have enough cards in my hand to do stuff. Now we're going to remove from play one of his monsters from the graveyard because they're a little scary, honestly, if I'm being honest. Yeah, honestly, they are a little scary. This is why I'm doing I don't really care about summoning Pyramid Turtle. I care about removing from play his monster. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, destroy this one. Just get rid of it. And summon Pyramid Turtle. All right, Gache, we are in the WDC tournament. I'm expecting you to play better than this. Look at me. I'm kicking your ass right now on camera. Let's see how you handle 2,300 big ones. And don't forget, I got 1,200 more where that came from. And there we go. We got ourselves some good damage on our opponent. Hmm. Oh, not too shabby. You're already almost half life points. Come on, dude. It's turn four and you've already lost, Nistro. In my AI tournaments, you would have summoned Heroic Challenger Excalibur by now, or this really dumb one that's like number 86. That one was insane. He's won, he's won multiple tournaments with that one. And this is why we got rid of his card, because he had Warrior Returning Alive. If he got back the Double Lance, we might have been in trouble. Now he's just going to get Night Watchman back, which can't even do anything to me. 
That card sucks. That's probably the worst uh, heroic challenger I've ever seen. And yet he's willing to summon it. Now I'm very confused. Like, very confused. Why? Trading with me would be terrible. You're just giving me monsters. Wait, what? No. No, your card doesn't say it beats me. Another one of these retribution swords? This one says it beats me. This one says it beats me. Okay. So, I think you still die, though, right? You take 1,100 damage. I take 1,100 damage as well. Okay, interesting trap card. And then I die at the end, right? Yes. So, it was all all of that just to kill my monster. Good for you. Good for you, sir. You, you, you did it. You beat me. But now you're going to have to face me at my full power. Because I'm going to summon my monster, the Go 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 Giant. Oh, you think we're done? We're not done yet. We're going to summon our monster, the Go 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 Golem. Oh, you think we're done? We're not done yet. We're going to summon our monster, the, the, the lizard, Gecko. Gex. We're going to summon Gex. Look at him. Yeah, there we go. And now we have four monsters on the field. Time for a super exceed summon. I special summon... Uh... There is one! Three level four monsters! Shockmaster. Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ from this card, declare one card type, monster spell. The type spell trap cannot be activated, or if monster, monster pets can't be activated until the end of your opponent's next turn. That can guarantee me um, damage. That will guarantee me damage, because I can stop trap cards. Or, what is this? Three level four monsters. Once per turn, you detach one of these effects. Detach three materials from this card, destroy all other face-up cards on the field. Detach five materials from this card, destroy all cards your opponent controls. That's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, granted, I can only do four attachments right now, but if I had five attachments, I'd do it. Um, overall, this card is what protects me, so I'm going to go ahead and go for Shockmaster. So Shockmaster, let's go ahead. Pyramid Turtle has 1,200 attacks, so we'll keep that one in attack mode. Get rid of this card, this card. Oh, whoops, I didn't click it. This card. And this card. What the hell? Does it... Is it not letting me use that card? Uh, Shockmaster. Three level four monsters. Yeah, what's the problem? It's shiny. That card. Okay. For some reason, it wasn't letting me pick it before. It wanted me to pick Pyramid Turtle. I'm like, no, I want to win the duel. All right. I have a massive overlay network for the first time. It, it makes sense. It's the tournament. We got to summon something new. We're going to go ahead and XYZ summon something called number 16, the Shockmaster. And with this card, all I have to do is activate my effect, and no trap cards can be activated this turn. Uh, we're going to throw away this guy. And no traps. You cannot win, sir. You cannot win. We go for battle for a guaranteed victory. Unless that was a spell. If it was scapegoats, I will die. I would literally just die right now. And there are no traps activated, no call to haunted, no bullshit, you get out of here. And just like that, everybody, we've knocked out Nistro from the tournament. A very interesting duel, all things considered, but he is still not that scary. I think Mr. Chronomaly gave us more trouble. Maybe, I don't know. Trey was pretty okay, though. You gotta be kidding, you're telling me I lost? We did it, Astro, we totally won! Well, I never gave up hope, you know, I had confidence in my own strategy. Also, I summed a new busted monster. You may have beaten me, but that duel saw some really great strategy used. Even if I had to create a tournament myself, I'll get my revenge. You just wait and see. What? What? Are you Kaiba? Is that Seno Kaiba? He's like, if I had to create a tournament of my own, I'll get my revenge? That's basically how Battle City happened. Granted, he wanted that for the Egyptian gods, but ignore that. He also just wanted revenge on Yugi. Do you really want to beat Kite Astral? Is that you, were, you want to beat some middle schooler? That's your entire goal in life? Of course the game's gonna make me fight Shark. Of course it's gonna make me fight Goddamn Shark. I was like, oh, maybe I'll get to fight Quatra. No, we're fighting Goddamn Shark. All right, let's do it. This is where this is the only person that's ever beaten me in this game is Shark. Everyone else I pretty much wrecked. And the junior high stu student, yeah, I'm not small, so you're my opponent in the semifinals. Well, I am, and I'm not. It's kind of complicated. Huh, I couldn't care less. Whether you're my opponent or not, no matter what, I will make it all the way to the top. Yuma, I really just want, truly want a duel. Thank you for leaving it to Astral. This has nothing to do with you. What I wish? What is it? Tell me. I'm afraid I have to keep it secret, Yuma. I've decided to tell you only after I win. So, 
We're going to find out the wish after Yuma wins. It turns out Shark cannot see Astral. That's kind of interesting. Um, let's go ahead and get this duel going and see if I can beat him, please. Yay, I get to go first. So when I go first, I like to start off with uh, two traps and three monsters. That is my favorite start. Let's see if I can get that. One of which needs to be Mirror Force, but it's fine. Uh, first turn, Mirror Force, two traps, three monsters. I'm <laughs> freaking psychic. I'm not just psychic. The game can hear me. I'm telling you people. It's like, I, I, I it, this is, I swear this is not scripted. Like this has to be like some special secret powers that are passed down in my family's bloodline that I just don't know about. All right, Goblin Bird, go. Goblin Bird, let's go ahead and summon. Hmm, out of all these cards, uh, give me Pyramid Turtle. All right, Pyramid Turtle is here, and then we know our opponent is stupid. Like, he, he could summon, like, three monsters in one turn. So I need to summon something that can make up for that. I'm going to get King of the Feral Imps, because I have Mirror Force anyway. Uh, King of the Feral Imps, we're going to use you to refill my hand, because I'm, I've already faced Shark once, twice technically. Um, and he beat me by having three Exceed monsters in one turn. And he got rid of Utopia's, all of Utopia's attachments to do that. So I know what I'm up against. Uh, I'm going to throw away Goblin Bird. And then we're going to get ourselves a uh, Kaga, Kaga card. This card, yeah, why not? This card could stop traps if I summon that one new XYZ monster, so I might go for that. And then we have two trap cards, so come on, Shark. I know you now. I am not afraid of you anymore. I mean, I wasn't afraid of you the first time until I realized that you actually play Yu-Gi-Oh! in this game and you don't suck. In Tag Force 7, the AI is so much worse, so it doesn't pull off as nearly as many combos or as many late game strategies like it doesn't plan ahead it just plans on like hurting people that's it all right so let's see shocktopus and it's trying to attack me you're gonna make my monster attack become zero that would suck for me so i am gonna activate mirror force i'm not gonna allow you to do that i'm afraid it just isn't gonna happen all right let's see what we got main phase two and one trap card so far all right. Well, let's go ahead and get more cards. I draw Catapult Zone. Interesting card. I don't know if he uses a field spell, so I might hold back, but we'll see. Uh, we're going to go ahead and activate our effect. We're going to throw away Pyramid Turtle. And we're going to get another card to our hand. But this time, we're going for this card. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going for that card for a reason, because we're going to summon this card. And then with this card's effect, I'm going to activate its effect, and I'm going to special summon my Chameleon card. I get a lot of reptiles. I'm also going to activate these effects as well. Yes, this one. If this guy has TT, I'm going to suffer. I can tell you that for free. All right, I'm going to summon him in attack mode. Still waiting for Goblinburg to, you know, get his effect. I special summon this monster. Yeah. There we go. Then we're going to go ahead and special summon a card. I'm going to choose the new sh uh, Shock Master. See, he's got Shock <coughs> shock Trooper. I got Shock Master. Uh, and I'm going to use that Shock uh, Master to stop any trap cards from coming out. There we go. There we go. There we go. I know I'm losing a lot of damage by putting all these cards together, but sometimes it's not about damage. Sometimes it's about stopping your opponent from using a level 4 call called, called Bubble Bringer, which I do know too much about. Uh, let's go ahead and throw away... Goblin bird. Yeah, and then we're going to stop traps. And you can't activate traps for your full until the end of your opponent's next turn. That's pretty good. Now, the next thing I'm going to need to stop is spell cards. So that's pretty, that's pretty scary. But I'm glad I stopped trap cards. So this turn, I feel completely safe and I get guaranteed damage off. Nothing he can do to stop me. I have XYZ Reborn as well. Oh, I can't use traps either, but I don't need them. Uh, then I'm going to main phase two, because screw it, I don't think this guy does use a field spell, and I can protect my monsters with catapults. so. There we go. There we go, sir. Let's see how you deal with this. I have a card that literally says you can't use traps this turn, and I have a card that says you you suck at dueling. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I just, I'm going to kick his ass. He's, still, he's going down. Shark, my, my field is stacked. Astral's deck is better than Yuma's, in my opinion. I mean, Yuma's never even gone too far in my tournaments, and uh, Astral has won one of my tournaments, so anything can happen. And for those of you that keep getting confused when I say my tournaments, I mean I run AI tournaments every Thursday on YouTube and every Saturday on Twitch. So, and we get to see all these, uh, all of our favorite characters go at it. Alright, I'm going to activate Heavy Storm. 
We don't, we don't want to deal with any spells or traps this duel. And then why I did that is because I'm going to use my Shock Trooper effect again. Or Shock Master, not Trooper, sorry. And then with my Shock Master effect, we're actually going to stop monster effects this time. Sadly, I don't have a monster. Okay. I should have picked another Chameleon. I thought I could summon both on the same turn. I was wrong. So we're going to stop monster card effects. No, don't put it in defense mode. Oh my god. I was just trying to click it like, oh, did I throw it away? No, I'm fucked. I can't believe this game. Oh my god, where's the retract? So this card, even if it had an effect, it can't get it. I was supposed to do 2300 damage right now, leaving it with only 1100, meaning I can win by Gaga Cowboy. But instead, I've kind of screwed myself. But he still can't use monster effects for a full turn. I just... Damn it, he better not have a monster with more than 1600 attack. No monster effects for a full turn. Alright, he summoned that card. And it has 1700 attack. God damn it. I hate it when that happens. I'm just trying to like, okay, we did it. We did it. Come on, stop the effect. And there. That's what happens, guys. All right, it's fine. I draw any monster card. I win the duel. That counts as a monster card. All right. I'm going to go ahead and activate monster aboard. Monster effects are activated again. I can use them again. Uh, monster aboard. Let's get back. It doesn't really matter what I choose as long as it's... Uh, level... Ooh, it does matter what I choose. Hmm. I just realized that uh, no matter what I summon back, because this card has to be normal summoned. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, it does matter. Let's summon Pyramid Turtle. That would be interesting. It matters. Because if I don't normal summon, I can't summon the freaking card in my hand. At least I think that's what its effect is, so I go with that, yeah. Uh, we're going with Pyramid Turtle. This thing's effect, once turned, this card will be destroyed by an effect that does not target it. Yeah, it's not destroyed. So it could stop Mirror Force from killing it. That's pretty cool. Not even gonna lie, that's a pretty cool effect. I would have won the duel by now if I didn't make a... That was a misclick, guys. That is 100% just a simple misclick. But it happens. So we're gonna go ahead and kill our own Pyramid Turtle so we can special summon a different monster. Yep. Pyramid Turtle's effect activates. Let me get my Go-Go-Go -Go guy out here. Uh-huh. Go, 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 uh, ghost. <laughs> it's such a funny-looking card, too. It, lo it looks cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm just, I'm just saying. It's kind of kind of silly. All right. Let's go ahead and destroy this uh, Abyssal King Shark. And leave Shark with very low life points. And give me a good chance to win the duel. I'm just I'm upset. I should have won already. I should have won already. All, and honestly, he wouldn't have been able to kill my monster. I would have won super badly. But because of that freaking misclick. Oh, my God because the game has so many cutscenes because whatever happens on the bottom right screen um i have to press a to stop them from talking because they don't talk there's no there's no voice acting in this game so it doesn't matter all right i summon double fish of course when this card's no summon you target my level three or level four and he's going to go ahead and exceed summon putting me in an actual situation where i have a chance of losing the duel shit i have a chance of losing the duel now shark stickers that thing's only level three it doesn't matter yeah, yeah, yeah. You think I'm scared of some stickers? Come on. I know you're going to exceed some of the level 4 monster. That is what I'm scared about. Because if it's that King Behemoth thing, then I'm going to have to... Son of a bitch. I had this duel and now I'm lose. I have a chance of losing. I hate this. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, he's going to kill King the Feral Imps. And then he's going to special summon Leviathan Dragon or some level 3 exceed monster. And if I don't draw a level 4 monster, I'm in trouble. That I could summon. I need a level 4 monster I can actually summon. Alright, he throws it away. He summons Leviathan Dragon. Luckily, Leviathan Dragon can't attack him directly and only has 2,000 attack. But I forgot it could evolve into that thing. And now this card, uh, it has 2,300 attack. And it could destroy one of my spell and trap cards, so I better not draw Mirror Force. Come on, heart of the cards. Pyramid Turtle, that'll do the job. That will 100% do the job. All right, I summon Pyramid Turtle. <clears throat> then I activate this card to summon this card. All right. So far, so good. I got three XYZ monsters. Now I'm going to take a peek. This card gains 200 attack. If this face-up card would be destroyed, you could detach one of its XYZ materials instead. If this card destroys one monster by battle. Okay. So, so no matter what, that card's going to survive whatever I try to do. But he only has 900 life points left. So I could just straight up go for Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy. I want to summon this new monster. Don't get me wrong. I'm like all of you. I want to do this. But if I do this, he lives. All right? And if he lives, I could lose the duel. 
Oh wait, there's this card. Two level four dark monsters. Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card, then target one card you control, except this card. When this card is face up on the field, that card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Um, interesting. 2,500 attack. Well, the only thing that wins me this duel is God Gaga Cowboy. Right now, this could win me the duel. So I'm going for God Gaga Cowboy. I'm going to get rid of you, and I'm going to get rid of probably you, if I'm being honest. 1,900 attack isn't enough anyway. So, God Gaga Cowboy, we just need 900 damage. That's all I need from you. So, go ahead, activate your effect. All right. We're gonna throw away Go 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 Ghost. And now we're going into battle. So I gain a thousand attack, you lose 500. I don't think that's enough damage. No, I don't actually know. Yeah, might not be enough damage actually. So it was a lose lose situation. But now, if I can get into defense mode. Wait, does he have to detach before? Ah, he did, but he doesn't die. He's so close. 200 damage, damn it. Alright, and then you destroy that shark stickers, yeah. Alright, we got life points to spare, and I kept Pyramid Turtle so that I could survive. I just realized God got Cowboy's dead either way. Damn it, I should have just blown up the whole... I should have went for the triple XYZ, blow up the whole field. It would have been fine. It would have been better. I thought I had a chance of winning with God got Cowboy, but I was wrong. I leave him with 200. Which does put him in death range, if I'm really thinking about it. I got him in death range. The problem is this stupid Bahumit Shark is going to summon more stuff. All right. And here comes Leviathan Dragon. Oh, wait, no, he could also summon Nightmare Shark. And you could attach one level through. Oh, crap. Oh, he's going to. Oh, he could just. What? Double Tribute? What? Hyper Ancient Shark Megalodon? What the hell is this? When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you target one monster your opponent controls destroy. No! Pyramid Turtle! That was my only hope! I've been playing so badly. I, none of this would have happened if I had just gone for the triple XYZ I was afraid to use. But for some reason, I, I just decided not to do math. Oh, wait. He's attacking Pyramid Turtle. That's weird. That means I will have a monster left over, which means I do have a small chance of victory. Wait, do I? I don't even think I do now that I think about it. I don't have a small chance of victory because there's nothing in my nothing in my deck that can do 200 to burn. I already lost Gaga the Cowboy. Unless I could somehow bring it back. If I can bring it back, I can win that way. All right, I summon Go 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 Ghost. We're going Ghost, everybody, and we're running out of time. All right, I have to think what monster in my deck can do just a little bit of damage. Something in this deck has to be able to do a little bit. I draw a card, Book of Life. Well, that is bound to happen. I activate Book of Life. I'm gonna go ahead and throw away some cards. I'm gonna summon Pyramid Turtle, Go 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 Ghost. Doesn't really matter what I choose. Yeah, there. I'm going to exceed summon after all. And out of this, God, he has so many cards in the grave already. Um, this Nightmare Shark's the scary one to me. It's giving me nightmares. Uh, let's put you in defense mode just in case I mess something up. So, of my choices, do any of these matter? Oh, King of the Feral and change the face down to possession and face down defense position. I can change his monster face down defense position. It has 1,300 defense, but then this car can beat me. All right, just something to consider. I have a Book of Moon Monster. Utopia. Doesn't have an effect that can save me. This card, let's turn to Touch XYZ. Target one face monster opponent controls with attack less or equal. That could win me the duel if I have... King of the Feral Imps gets me another monster. Gives me one more chance to do it. But if I do that, he could just straight up beat me. But then I have a chance of him summoning a weak monster so I can win the duel with this monster over here. Mm, okay, so I could go for King of the Pharaoh Elms, give me that monster chameleon that lets me summon an XYZ. This will be what I choose if he summons a monster next turn. If he doesn't summon a monster next turn, then I still have a monster left over. 
But if he summons the XYZ monster next turn, I don't think I have enough life points to survive the attack. Ah, who cares? All right, we're going for King of the Feral End. This gives me a chance. If he summons a monster with 2100 or less attack next turn, I can win the duel. I can literally win the duel. He just has to not attack me with it. Um, if I put this in defense mode and his other two monsters attack me, I lose the duel. Uh, I'm still doing it. All right, we're still doing it. I, I just, I, I'm just so scared right now. I, I already won this duel and I lost because I basically just missed, I misclicked. I just misclicked and I lost the duel. That's all it took. That's all it took for me to lose. Oh, it's upsetting as hell. You have no idea. Oh, I still haven't summoned this turn. That changes things. I didn't realize I'd not summoned this turn. All right, I summon then. And I'm not allowed to use his effect apparently. What? What? How come I couldn't use his effect? What what happened? What wait what happened? I have a lot of level zeros in my. Is it you? It's not you. Wait, why didn't I have the chance to activate my card's effect? What stopped Chameleon from using his effect? The only thing I've oh I've special summoned this turn. I've special summoned this turn, so I can't. I I've, I've killed myself. I've killed myself. It happened. Unless I, unless I naturally top deck my other chameleon after he summons a weak monster, I've killed myself. There's a weak monster! Oh crap. Oh man, oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, you son of a bitch. I think I might have lost either one. Yeah, I lost because I put him in attack. I, I was gonna dire wolf for, or not, I was gonna use that Jin card, thinking that I was fine, but I was not. So I lose everything. Oh my god. Misplays all day, guys. Misplays all day. Exact damage for me to lose. I'm an idiot. Alright, I just remembered that... I'm like, oh, I have a normal summon this turn. Oh, but that means I special summon this turn. I used Book of Life, didn't I? Or something. I actually don't remember what I did. And we lose the duel. A duel I could have won five times over. And I lost because I misplayed into a misplay into a misplay into a misplay. And Shark gets a victory on me yet again. How did I... One misclick... And we ended up all the way over here. Guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.